So it has officially been one year since I bought the Instagram famous Brooklyn and Sheets. I feel like I've heard these all over the place, sponsorship podcasts, all over social media. And I decided one year ago to take the plunge and buy a set of these sheets for myself. I paid my own money for these. This is not a sponsored video. Seraphim in the future here, I did actually realize they do have a referral code that will give you $25 off. So I'll put the details for that down below. So check that out. It's a win-win if you do use that, but if not, no worries at all. Now that it's been a year, I want to tell you how I like them and if I would recommend Brooklyn in. But before we get too far into my experience, I think it's important to understand more about Brooklyn and as a company, what they stand for and what they are trying to sell you with their products. So Brooklyn was founded in 2014 by a husband and wife team. And they say that we started this company because just like you, we wanted a place to buy beautiful and ridiculously comfortable sheets that didn't cost an arm and a leg. Now I'm gonna be honest, I don't really agree with this part of their story. I feel like these sheets do kind of cost an arm and a leg. I have the Luxe version and the window pane, which is like a little bit of their upgraded sheets. This duvet cover alone was almost $200 without it being on sale. And a set of two king size pillowcases were almost $70 for the pair. And honestly, I feel like these sheets were so expensive that we ended up just going with the cheap Amazon fitted sheets, just going with Brooklyn in for the duvet cover and the pillowcases, the stuff you can actually see. So I don't completely agree with that, but let's get into the rest of their history. However, something must be working for them because if you look at their searches for their product on Google, they have continued to rise in popularity ever since their founding in 2014 with really no signs of slowing down. In addition, over this time, they've also expanded their product offering. So now they don't just offer bedding, they offer robes, loungewear, towels, shower curtains, even like home decor pieces like candles. And in addition to that, I think there's also some important things to note about the quality of the product and some of their standards that they hold their quality to. One other unique thing about Brooklinen is their materials are independently tested by Okotex. And I had no idea what this is, but I looked more into it. And this is an independent testing organization based in Switzerland. And it seems like a lot of different companies use this. For the most part, it seems to have a good reputation as being like a trustworthy testing organization. And what Okotex says about their standards is they say all substances with chemicals and leather relevance from European chemical agencies, candidate lists of substances of very high concern are covered by the standard 100 and leather standard by Okotex. Ecotex. However, they do go on to say that there could be some rare exceptions to this, and it's possible that some of these chemicals could possibly be in the materials that are being tested. But overall, I do feel pretty good about this, especially because something like bedding, you're going to be exposed to it. Your skin is going to be touching it for a long period of time. So you obviously don't want to have a bunch of toxic chemicals on your sheets. Yeah, that's kind of the history of the company. Now let's get into my personal experience. So here's my information. So first let's cut to the chase and talk about my overall experience with Brooklinen sheets over the past year. And overall, I actually really like them. To be honest, I was a little bit skeptical because these are kind of like a social media brand of sheets. I didn't know if they were overhyped. I would say if I had to grade these sheets, I would give them like an A minus or B plus. I'm gonna go with A minus. I feel like these overall are really great sheets. The main reason I like them is they are really quite comfortable. I find them really soft on my skin. I never get too hot or too cold with these sheets that feels really soft. They feel high end. They're not crazy. Like there's not a bunch of bells and whistles. They're not like super shiny, silky sheets. They're not super fuzzy. And I'm gonna be honest, when I first saw these sheets a little over a year ago, when I first got them in the mail, I was a little bit overwhelmed because when you look at them, they just look very very basic. Like they don't seem like anything crazy. Like when you pick them out of the box, I have been honestly very pleasantly surprised with the comforts. I think they've also been very durable. These are the only set of sheets that we have and they're not pilling or wearing down or anything like that. So I do really like that. Like there's really only a few things that I've personally experienced that I don't like. So number one, I feel like they do get wrinkly pretty easily. Like I pretty much have to snatch these out of the dryer as soon as I get them and immediately make my bed or else they will be super wrinkly and I just think it's not that good of a look. Now that being said, Brooklyn it does say that you should expect some wrinkling with their sheets mainly because they refrain from putting any type of wrinkle resistant chemicals in their product. It's 100% cotton sheets so you should expect some amount of wrinkling and you know I would say fair points you know make up your own mind if that's something that you think is going to bother you. I don't know I think there are pros and cons. 
Also, I feel like the duvet cover is like slightly too small. I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, I have a king size bed, I have the king size duvet, and I feel like they could have added a little bit of extra size to it so it's not so i don't know like i feel like it doesn't like fully extend over the sides of my bed which i wish it did i mean they're kind of a humble set of sheets it's nothing too crazy but i would actually give a thumbs up to brooklinen so i feel like there's not too much to say about these sheets yeah i actually i like them after a year so that's it thanks everyone for watching overall i like my brooklinen sheets but i'd love to know your thoughts if you've tried them if you're eyeing them let me know down in the comments and if you're looking for something to watch it next i recommend checking out my eight sleep mattress review this mattress is actually a three point five thousand dollar smart mattress that has a bunch of bezel and whistles that are actually really kind of crazy and unique so check that video out if you're looking for some more sleep content and until next time bye